Hi Sandy man so why am i applying this thermal paste in my laptop okay so i'm applying this thermal paste in my laptop because my laptop tends to get overheated very soon so these are the configuration of my laptop it has a processor of 11th generation intel core i5 and have a ram of 8 gb and this one is the graphic card so what happen is whenever i use softwares like photo editing software or video editing software my laptop gets overheated very soon and to cool it down the fan inside it it spins much faster and makes some noises so that spinning of fan is okay it is for cooling purpose only but the thing is it get overheated very soon and uh, to cool it down i have uh, tried some solutions and th these the sol the solutions are like i have avoid using multiple application at the same time i have uh, disabled the background processes that that runs in the background but are not needed then i have uninstalled the unwanted applications and i have uh, updated the bios also and i have used this brush to clean all the uh, inlet and outlet near the fan the keyboard everything and i'm even using this uh, laptop stand so these all solutions have worked so these all solution have helped to cool it down a little bit but still the result is not satisfactory so as per my final try and my final solution i am applying this thermal paste so inside this laptop we have the cpu and gpu chips very small so we can apply this thermal paste on them so let's apply this and hope it works so let's do it so this is our fan and uh, it has some screws we will unscrew them and uh, we have those chips under this plates so we will remove it and clean it and then we will apply our paste and we have a small plug in here this plug contains four or five wires inside it different colors so just remember which side is having which color so that it will be easy to uh, reassemble it again so just remember that after removing the screws just pull out the parts one by one but do not apply too much force it will come automatically and clean the underneath part and the individual parts with the help of a soft brush or with the help of any soft cloth these two are the chips where we will be applying our thermal paste and these two are our uh, copper plates that transfer the heat so let's clean this and apply our paste now we will be cleaning our uh, copper plates first we will remove the old thermal paste with the help of clothes and uh, since we don't have any pure alcohol here so i will be using this hand sanitizer i am taking this on a small piece of a cloth and i am cleaning the old one then after that just cleaning it with some cotton to dry it up and uh, that's how we will clean our thermal old thermal paste from the copper plates and similarly from our chips
now we will carefully clean our chips for that i am taking this uh, cotton and i am just cleaning it uh, without applying anything uh, very carefully and after that i'm taking again uh, on a small piece of a cotton i'm taking little bit of hand sanitizer i'm taking a very uh, little amount so that only the chip will get clean i don't want this uh, alcohol this hand sanitizer or this uh, any alcohol to fall other than the chip part so i'll just clean it very carefully even it if it falls nothing will happen it will just vaporize after some minutes so that's not a big deal but still just cleaning our chips care, uh, carefully and now we will wait for some minutes so that this hand sanitizer get vaporized we need our chips to be dried before we apply our new thermal paste so we will wait for some minute Uh, before that uh, this is our battery and this is our hard disk this one is our ssd card then these are our ram and uh, there is some slot to add extra ram then uh, this is i think graphic card and uh, that's it okay now we are going to apply this thermal paste on our processors This thermal paste I bought it from Flipkart for rupees one thirty to one forty, but uh, directly applying this on our chip, we are going to see with how much pressure, how much of thermal paste come out from this tube. So for that, I am taking it out on a table first, then I am applying this on our chips. Then again, there are some patterns. We can put one drop of thermal paste on our chips, or we can uh, make an X pattern or any other pattern. But uh, what I came to know that dot pattern is the best one. So we will follow. I will follow the dot pattern here. I will just put a small drop or a small uh, ball of thermal paste on each of the processors. and that's it now after applying this thermal paste we are done here now we will reassemble our laptop as it was before but be careful with that plug of the fan put it in the right way as it was so that's the first thing now the second thing is uh, i have too much of thermal paste left with me so if anyone want this within after the within the one year of this published of this video so you can comment me uh, i will be happy to share it with you so that is the second thing now about the result so i am editing this particular this same video after applying the thermal paste and my experience is okay so the result is my laptop still gets heated up but but the degree of the heat that is generated or the the, the weight is heating up it is significantly reduced as compared to before so i can say that this current level of heating is less than what is used to be what it used to be so so this thermal paste they do work they do work but still i have some heating issue but it is uh, improved than the previous one so that's the result thing and uh, yes we can uh, and uh, yeah we can use this thermal paste in every 1 to 2 years 
so that's the thing and uh, thank you for watching and signing off